welcome to Rockstar. I think it's 135, maybe. <clears throat> could be, could be wrong. So, good morning, how are you all? I've had a bit of a, uh, ooh, a, <laughs> a, a nasty night, really. I woke up about five o'clock this morning with a bit of food poisoning, so um, not been feeling the best. So, um, not been asleep since. Although I've been backwards and forwards to the little girl's room. Thankfully, no sick. Because I really, really, really hate that. So uh, I think I've got it all out my system now. And uh, well, I hope so anyway. Gary was fine. We had the same thing. So I won't be doing a slim chat today. Because <laughs> you don't really want to be reporting that. So um, yeah, I'm going to be taking it easy the, this morning. Um, I didn't make oats anyway, so it would just be like toast kind of stuff, so toasty, which is probably best, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing some crochet today and taking it a little bit easy because of it. And um, at about 12, 12.30, my time, um, my yarn unboxing will pop up on your screens because I filmed it yesterday evening, but it was too late to put it up. So um, I'm keeping the yarn out of the way so you can't see it before you're, you're meant to. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be on there. Um, it was from a company who I've used before when I bought the cellos. Um, and uh, it's pretty good. So yeah, hope you like it. I didn't go crazy and order tons. But um, it's nice stuff. So, yeah. Um, what else can I tell you today? I've got to go feed Buffy for Mike and Gemma. They'll be coming back today. So, uh, Fluffy... <laughs> Fluffy has taken a shine to the bedroom under the bed and woke Gary up a few times, jumping on the bed. But then every time, I think... Uh, it wasn't in the kind of frame of mind to grab her and put her out. So uh, he just kept getting woke up by it. So I said, you know what? You should have just stroked her, got hold of her, put her out, shut the door. But then it would have happened once. <laughs> but um, So I'm going to have to plug up the space under the bed. It's only this big. It's not big enough to get any of those storage tubs. You know, you can get under the bed ones. But it's only, it's kind of like this. So it's not really big enough to get anything under there. But we did have, when we unpacked, the drawers, some small cardboard boxes that had the, the drawer pieces in. So if we was to rescue that, although I've, he may have broke it up, but if not, I can try and slide those so that it blocks her path of getting under there. Because, you know, I don't really like cats in the bedroom anyway, because I am sort of a bit allergic to cats. I can't say massively, stop fiddling always fiddle sorry about that so oh yeah i'm not like um sneeze 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 or anything like that but if i let her oh, fiddling <laughs> if i let her get on my bed then my eyes will start to be sore and i'll get the sneezes but i'm okay if i stroke her now and then let her sit on me that sort of thing but i always wash my hands afterwards just so that um that if there's any of her fur because it's the saliva that um, upsets you rather than the fur so if there's any of it on my hands then I'll try and wash it off but it's when I get it on my nose that's that's the one but um, I take antihistamines anyway I might just give Gary a few just to tide him over because I know that he can be allergic to cats so but Fluffy's sort of ventured out there's too much DIY going on for her to be completely happy at the moment, she's hiding in the corner of the living room underneath, um, um, well, I would suppose you call it a stool. You can either call it a stool or a table because it's two things. You can either sit on it or put your tea on it because it's hard and they're really sturdy. We use them sometimes when we have too many people over for dinner. When I say too many, I mean too many for the chairs. Um, and then we'll get one of those out and... I also use them to stand on to reach things I can't reach, you know. They're just so durable and um, 
so that although they're not the most attractive things don't really want to do away with them because they're just too versatile so um anyway i've got my new drawers they're under there and i've still actually got the old one because it's it's only this wide so if i push it all the way back it's um it's okay under there i don't really i don't think i need it but you know yarny people can always use a little bit more storage so i might just put some yarn in there <laughs> <laughs> I really do need to kind of this little area I do need another shelf at least just the one I told Gary <laughs> I told him I said you know he went it's really hard to put a shelf there you know I went you'll work it out so he said I can't do it yet and I went I know but it does need doing because it's wasted space and you know it could have yarn in it so um don't need wasted space unless I could find one of those three shelf things like like these but one that's just tall with three they do have one in home base but i'm not paying that price and if it fitted in there so much the better i could just stand it on the desk and it would give me three but then it would cut down on my desk space at the back i do apart from at the moment it's got this new yarn um but usually i've got my gimbal and m my speaker i've got a, a speaker in the living room we've got an alexa i can say the word now because she's not going to hear me even so, sometimes when I'm not even talking to her, she pipes up. She butts in my conversation quite often on when I'm doing a live stream. But um, so we've got that in there. So it's kind of made my speaker a little bit um, not so much used as it used to be. So I brought it in here and I thought, you never know when I'm doing something in here. I might want to listen to music, but it's links up to your phone and stuff. So. They're kind of linked together. They're pretty cool. You can get you can get large ones and you can get several of these smaller ones. Get an app, like a Bose app, and link them together and you can have them around the house. And if you put them in the corner, it amplifies because they've always had this technology where if you put a speaker in the corner, it fills the room. So it's quite loud enough as it is, but if you wanted it in a large room, you just put it in the corner and suddenly it's even more so. So... I really um I really like it. Don't want to do away with it. I used to have the little mini one, you know, the little flat thing. And um I sold that when I got this one. And I put it on Facebook and I had I was inundated with people. I think I must have sold it too cheaply, I don't know. So that's another thing I want to do at some point. I've got a camera to sell, so I want to put that on eBay. Um it, there's no although it's a good camera, it's uh, a digital Sony and you can get interchangeable lenses, you know, big ones. I've got one big one. And although I wanted to learn photography and use it, it doesn't record video. So I feel that if I'm going to have one, I need one that's all-encompassing and not have that camera for taking shots, this camera for doing a video. So at the moment, I just use my phone. So, yeah, I kind of... I want to replace it. I know I won't, though. <laughs> that's the thing. If I get rid of it... I know I'll spend money on other things. Maybe yarn. No, no, not yarn. I think I do have enough for the time being. Although I did a little shopping trip yesterday and I know I still haven't shown you any of the yarn I bought. But I will. I will get round to that. And um, I've got some humdinger of a few projects milling around my head. Far too many projects for one little head and one little pair of hands. So I, uh, I need to get to grips with that. Um... What was else was I going to tell you? Um, I might do a sofa so far Sunday later because um, I've had an idea about the border of that blanket, which is not in here. So, yeah, I might do that. I might try it out because I need to do that tutorial as well. So once I've figured out that um, border, I'll do the tutorial for it. And... Uh, Lots to do, lots to do. So Gary's out there painting, lost all the paintbrushes. So I keep saying to him, you need to keep it all together. He lost the sandpaper, then he lost the paintbrushes. Terrible for losing things. Not only does he lose things, he expects me to go find them. I'm so much better at finding stuff. Well, women are, aren't they? But, and I said to him, just put it all, decorating stuff, all in a box or a bag, you know, a hold all something 
just put it all in and it's always there and put it away after but I luckily managed to keep one quite large Harris brush back because I've got a few brushes that I keep just for my projects because you know I'm making the store I still need to do the legs um, and finish the cover so um, but I want to get some glaze so that's kind of holding me up um, so yeah I kept all those aside so I had to give him my larger one so that he could <laughs> I don't to be honest with you need a larger one so it's no big no biggie but I said clean it and give it back to me that way I know I've always got one or that I can get find one for him but I've got a big bag of them that's the thing huge bag when we were going to be doing all this we went out and I just grabbed loads and loads of big paintbrushes, all different sizes, like this wide, this wide, put them all in a bag with the sandpaper, masking tape. He said to me the other day, we'll have to buy masking tape. I went, we have it somewhere, Gary. We have, it's gonna, it should be me, isn't it? That, but it's, <laughs> it's tools and man stuff. God, I'm so sexists would hate me for saying <laughs> oh I don't care I am a girly I don't care I know what, what can you do oh getting warm so let's just put the fan on I was um hope that's not too annoying I didn't put my ear microphone in so it shouldn't be making a wind noise but yesterday or well, last night when I woke up I was cold and um, I know it's because I was ill and uh, so then I, when I got back to bed I put the covers on and I was like hot I was like, threw them off and then I was cold so I just I thought I don't I've got my um, Wizard of Oz pajama bottoms in the wash so I thought oh, I'll just put a nighty on and then if I throw off the covers at least I've got something on me but I wasn't wasn't gonna get back to sleep anyway it's so annoying and then once morning came and I kind of, Gary woke up then and was kind of laying there snuggling and I thought I could go to sleep now. Isn't it just typical that when you're meant to get up, that is when you could just go back to sleep? It's really annoying. So uh, I don't know what to do next project wise. I want to make the character blanket and I feel like I should because it's going to take a while. So it's something I could do the cowl and have on the go for quite some time because it's going to take a long, long time to make those squares. Um, and I want to make um, a textured blanket. I've got one in mind, or a few bits of it anyway, piecing together in my head, but it's going to be a color. And I've got some ombre um, yarn, and I'm not sure whether that will be enough to make the whole thing. Possibly not, so, um, I might not do it with that although I could use what I've got and then find a darker color to do outside and still that would then work it would ombre still so I'm not sure if I want to ombre it or if I just want it solid color I think I want it solid color and when I um, had I've got lots and lots of yarn that I bought when Aldi did an event and I bought some massive balls of uh, Aaron and I kind of because I had sort of you know those colors remember the colors that I made my garden furniture with and I really loved that yarn I did have a pink one so I bought burgundy to match that and I had a blue one so I bought blue to match that and so oh, I don't know if I bought blue but I did buy the um, the big balls anyway so I've got quite a lot of big big balls and I have some monster chunky um, in beige to work with this this stuff which is very 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 thick so I don't know how that will crochet I might have to do the K word and might have to knit that sorry Madonna there is a pattern on there but I do believe that isn't yet it's definitely knitted I've never tried to crochet with anything quite so fat unless it was making a basket but as I've got 12 of these I don't really want to make a basket I wanted to make a blanket but crochet would have to be 
just something very basic like um, moss stitch which wouldn't really be able to incorporate my other colour. The other colour I got is kind of this. It's either this one or it's this one. I think it is more this colour but it will match nicely. It's called the Hurly Burly Chunky Yarn in colour sand. Hmm, not much sand really but I wonder. Anyway that's another project that I had in mind but I have so many so many and just one person is just not gonna I'll have to write them down so I don't forget them but the trouble is I'll have more and more and more ideas and then where do you start with them all still need to make some baby stuff and do some tutorials for it which I will do so yeah, the kitchen is a bit of a, a bomb site, and I'm supposed to be making a shepherd's pie today. And um, we were also going to be having a barbecue, and Gary was going to do the garden. The, the shepherd's pie would really be for Monday. I was going to make the mince part, because um, we couldn't have it at the time we wanted it. I was going to make the mince part, and then put that in the fridge. And then on Monday, do the potato part, get that out, and make it up. Because the mince can be cooked the day before potatoes not so much so yeah I had to do that and I was hoping that I felt so much better by the time <laughs> I had to mess around with the smell of minced beef but thankfully I do I do feel a lot better now and not not quite um, right but certainly better than I did at five in the morning and I looked in the mirror and I thought oh it might have to be a walk video today. People are not seeing me looking like that. But I did look like pale and weird. So I'm really kind of dehydrated. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. So yeah, um, I can't show you the yarn that's sitting at the side of me and I really, really want to because it's on my yarn haul, which is up soon and then you'll see it. But that one there, I really kind of want to make something for the baby with it. We all see. You'll see the one, probably, that I mean. So today I'm going to sort my bedroom out as well. Lots to do. As I've kind of, I've got washing on. And um, Gary's back to work tomorrow. So back to normal day and I'll do a live stream tomorrow. If I don't get on this evening... There is a chance I might. Gary likes to have extremely long baths, so it just depends on what we're doing and what we've got going on. He does want to watch some films, and although we saw it at the cinema, I want to watch Le Mans. Um, I love that movie, and it's two and a half hours long, but obviously when you see it at the cinema, there's no subtitles, and that does help Gary. <clears throat> so I want to watch that, and it's obviously, it was a bit late last night when we sat down to watch something because he wanted his bath and, and everything else so um, two and a half hours would have meant that we didn't get to bed until about sort of three and that would have been great waking up at five wouldn't it probably wouldn't have slept all night if um, we hadn't gone to bed when we did well I went to bed first so but yeah I do want to watch that Anyway, watched Game of Thrones last night, getting near the end. Although um, I have seen it all before, but it's getting near the, the war with the Night King, so it's getting quite close to the end now. Which would be sad, but Gary will be pleased, because I think he's found it a chore to watch the whole thing again. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you're ready to watch something all the way through again. But I think I inflicted this one on him. I wanted to watch that. So it's his turn to pick. I dread to think what we're going to get. Sometimes he gives in and lets me have my way. If I let him watch a movie, then <laughs> his choice, then maybe the, <laughs> the series would be mine. But somehow I doubt it. Somehow. Although we're running out of series, so if anyone's got any suggestions, then please let me know in the uh, comments. I don't always get a chance to reply to them all now because there's so many, but I do, um, I do read them. And uh, I do miss all, all the odd ones, I guess. Um, it was so much easier, obviously, when there were fewer. 
<clears throat> the fewer videos, fewer subscribers, etc. But I'm so glad that there's not. But um, yeah, that's the one sacrifice is that you don't always get to sit and answer them. I used to get, um, you know, haven't you finished yet? Can't we go out? You know, because I did used to sit and do quite a lot of them. Uh, but it was great to do things like that when Gary was at work. But there's just not enough hours now. It seems to me I've got less to do. Like, I don't have a job. And, you know, all through lockdown, when you couldn't go out, and now you're limited and we are still not going out as much as perhaps we used to. Why have I got less time? I don't, it's, it's one of those things. It's like, you know, when you when you d don't have a job, like when I used to look after the kids when I was younger and you think, how did I ever find the time to work? It's amazing. Where does all the time go? It just flies. And they say as you get older, it goes faster and faster. <sighs> Breakneck speed as it is. So anyway, I'm going to call that a day and uh, get off now. And as I said, there won't be a slim chat because um, I'm probably going to fast um, for a little while. See if I can return the stomach to normal. I could use it. I mean, not been the best behaved dieter lately so thanks for watching and uh, i will see you a little bit later unwrapping my yarn i called it an unboxing i know it's a bag but unbagging doesn't really sound as good as an unboxing so it was an unboxing unbagging and um, it's not massive but it's beautiful so thanks for watching stay safe take care and i'll see you soon